Hello everybody and welcome to the Rational Webcast for the 18th of January 2016. Stop! Stop making that face, you dick! I finally get a chance to show people my true self. I'm so beautiful! This was a very bad idea. <laughs> Today we're talking about the launch of EA's uh, Origin subscription service. We're talking about uh, David Bowie. Uh, and let me rest in peace. Uh, and his appearance in Omicron and how it's now free for a little bit at least. Uh, Nintendo's um, something. What Nintendo intends on doing <laughs> over the next year. Shut up! <laughs> and uh, the pre order situation with Hitman and what they're actually planning to do. So, how are you, Marty? I'm fine, thank you. How is your life? It's very good. I actually did a bit of research. Um, I now believe that I have uh, cracked the uh, code of comedy. Um, the idea is that you eat you you a whole load of Viagra and then um, hit the person with a rock hard misdirection. <laughs> we'll just edit in the applause there, yeah? I don't know. I didn't say wanking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you see, you do have to put your hands up above the camera when you make noises like that. <laughs> Why does it just sound weird? Yes. Well, not just weird. Um, can I also um, no. just ask the question that pretty much everybody will be asking when it comes to this video. Uh, what, what are the jelly babies for? Jelly babies are jelly babies. You can't actually see the jelly babies on my camera. <laughs> Oh, um, okay, I can see the other babies. <laughs> um, for those wondering, in the uh, in the background of mine, you can see uh, the clothes that I wore to my wedding, still hanging up there after three years of marriage. And you can also see some form of gel, which was used with an ultrasound that we purchased to um, get an idea for what my baby's heartbeat was like. You actually uh, my baby is now seven months old. You actually Answer. bought the gel itself. What, what do you think I would do? I thought they provided it at the hospital. Oh, no, as, it, as in for like our home ultrasound. You have a home ultrasound? Bloody hell. Come on. Who do you think I am? Some kind of a, uh, pleb. A lowly YouTuber? I, 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 count myself, I count myself as more of a princely YouTuber, but still. Ah, I consider myself a pauper YouTuber. In the back of mine, you can see a world map that's actually got little doodars in of where I've been. You can see a where, guitar, and you can see my collection of geeky stuff. And a Star printer. Trek ships. What? And a printer. I you can't see printer? the printer on my camera! Oh. Fine. You just angled it so that you could see your guitar instead. Um, for those wondering, it's not actually a real guitar. Um, it's actually one of the little-known keytars. A fucking keytar. Oh, now he has to show you. Yes, it's a real guitar. <laughs> so, fuck you. <laughs> no keys. Sad thing is, Nick never learned to play it. I have. <laughs> do you want me to demonstrate now? Am I, I going to do will. this? That's the unfortunate thing. What? Uh, I said am I know I you will. <laughs> am I going to do it? Am I going to have to demonstrate? No, please don't. I don't Why? think that's good use of our, our viewers' time. Ah. You still are. That that shows that shows everything. It's a, a little bit out of tune. I haven't played it for absolutely ages. You're a little bit out of tune. Plus, this I can't play it well in this chair. Oh, so you blame it on the chair. Out of everything you can blame it on, you blame the guitar and the chair. Next, you're going to state that yes. your clothes are in the way. What clothes? These clothes? Are you saying you're not wearing clothes? No, I'm wearing Oh, we're adding those in post. Sorry, okay. I've... It's a hologram. <laughs> like in Doctor Who. I see. We'll, uh, we'll keep track of the frame for that. Um, so, we are talking today about Origins of Vault. Now, I'm not talking about uh, anything Borderlands-based. 
or anything Fallout based. Two popular games which involve Vault. We are in fact talking about Origin Access The Vault. And this is looking to change the uh, the landscape. Please stop, Nick. <laughs> this is looking to change the landscape of gaming itself by creating, this track, yeah. <laughs> by creating a subscription service into the uh, gaming world, taking a bit of the bit of the old you know Netflix, a bit of the old blockbuster, and that sort of idea, and uh, creating something new. What I wasn't, think, I wasn't sold on it because I don't particularly like Origin. But then I saw the advert and it's got Bill Nye in. So, that's something. How did they get Bill Nye? I've not seen this advert. Seriously? But I don't think that's really... Watch the a, advert! I don't think that's of, uh, of great importance when we're looking at this. Uh, what really. is of importance is the amount that it costs and the number of games and what games it has in it. Three ninety nine Per month. Per month. Which is actually cheaper than Netflix, so that's actually not too bad considering you get to start with Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, Inquisition, SimCity, uh, that's the shit SimCity, the new one, uh, The Sims 3, FIFA 15, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, Needs for Speed Rivals, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, and Abyss A War of Mine. It's actually not, not a bad lineup to be fair. I'd say that's pretty damn awesome. Yeah. You've got a heck of a lot of gameplay there. I mean, if, even if you could just take into account the Dragon Age games, you've got a heck of a lot well, of gameplay. Oh, yeah. Just take into account that Dragon Age. The newest position. Dragon Age, I think, is a pretty big coup for them. Mm. Um, I mean, obviously, the Battlefield Hardline, I think they would rather it wasn't in there. But the other two Battlefields, people I'd enjoy. prefer FIFA 15 wasn't in there. Yeah, it's not a great thing, but it's quite weird that it's, the, uh, mm. that it's there for PC. Um, Though weirdly, because obviously EA Access is also on Xbox One, um, one of the games that is on both um, services but isn't in both versions of EA Access is Titanfall, which I think is a pretty big loss actually from the PC version. Titanfall is very cheap now, mm -hmm. uh, and it is barely got a player base anymore. As to what I believe, and it's not nearly got the uh, kind of player base that it had originally. Oh no, well no, not at all. But it's... I mean, I know that you've got the tail off as usual, but I mean, on Titanfall, it kind of literally dropped off a cliff. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't quite um, quite the same as the oh, what's it called now? The game that had an absolutely awful player base drop. The one that was made by the same people that made Left for Dead. Well, some of the team members made Left 4 Dead. It's got that Valve. Yeah, I know it's not Valve. Um, <laughs> I can't think of the name. Neither can you, can you? Evolve? Oh, the monster. Evolve. Ah, yes, I'm good, yeah. There you go. That had an awful drop in player base. Mm. Um, uh, Which right, is a shame so... because I actually wanted to play Evolve, but I haven't actually got round to it yet, and I probably won't now yep. because it's got nobody on. Yeah, I... I exactly the same um, I was really looking forward to it but it just sounds like they were really slow in releasing updates and the balance was never there um, yeah. but I can't quite understand why they've not bothered to put Titanfall in here um, it's a relatively new game um, it's one that would benefit from having a sudden surge of users um, unless they're just trying to kill it <laughs> are they just trying to get people to forget about it I don't, I, I maybe they're probably sure. going to they're probably going to uh, shut down the server in about a year or two or something and say, oh, you can't play it anymore. Uh, play Battlefield instead. Um, Battlefront. Battlefront. Sorry. Because <laughs> that seems to be EA's uh, thing. They have they have a game, and then, yeah, that the initial surge of people going through that, uh, they make money from it, and then it kind of tails off. That they have the next big one, and they don't give a crap about the last one. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I can see that. Um, though the strange thing is, whilst um, a lot of people love Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 now, from what I hear, um, has really improved these last uh, the, over the last year or so. Um, and it's meant to be a f damn fine game now. Runs really well, apparently. And I'd also say one of the um, kind of underrated games in there... Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I've heard that's ridiculously good. I did actually... I haven't actually got around to playing it yet. I did try to play it 
at um, the Gadget Show when I went a few years ago. Um, but the EA servers were fucked on that day. Fair enough. <laughs> because I couldn't play Titanfall either. Boy. Titanfall was uh, dead. Yeah, that wasn't good. Right. Um, yeah, Plants vs. <laughs> Zombies Garden Warfare, really good game. Um, really good fun. When Which I is was... surprising. Yes, it's it's a game that I did not expect to enjoy in any way, shape or form. Played it at my brother-in-law's, really enjoyed it. And yeah, bought it straight away as soon as I got a PS4. And still play it now. Um, really well made. Um, doesn't kind much of, of a... shove too much in, in your face in terms of the, uh, the additional purchasables. Is there a much of a player base still behind it? it yes, you still have people regularly playing that game. And there are lots nice. of different game modes now as well. They added to it See, every time. And you got got... Um... Garden Warfare 2 coming out soon mm. and huh huh so I've just, I'm just on Origin now and it seems like uh, even now they're adding more stuff to Origin Access because Garden Warfare 2 is going to be on that it says what? I don't and believe you go on Origin I'm on Origin I'm on the oh, no, ten... like oh sorry get 10% off Yes. Origin access. Sorry. Um, when you get Origin access, you also get 10% off any game um, in the Origin store. And you also get to play a free trial of Unravel. Yeah, you get loads of early is. free trials as well. Yeah. Which is cool. Um, though the big shame is that they went for Need for Speed Rivals instead of Need for Speed Most Wanted, which everybody knows is the better game. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. It, it is. I I don't know anything about Need for Speed games. It's um it's the a game made by the same developers as Burnout Paradise. Really? And you know how good Burnout Paradise was. Everybody knows how good Burnout Paradise was. Exactly. It's also Burnout one of Paradise the... is really stupidly good. Mm. It's also one of the most wanted games on um, Xbox One backwards compatibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing with my phone here, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know, which actually is the camera that I'm using to watch him. Uh, so it's really distracting. Um, I, had, I had to plug in the charger, it just beeped at me sorry. saying, you have no charge left. Um, and uh, kind really of the weird addition the there shoot. is this war of mine. This war uh, of mine is supposed to be ridiculously good. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not um, the sort of thing that you'd expect would pull many people into the game, uh, into the service even, which is really what the opening lineup's going to be about. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the big question for me is, is this a game changer, and will this spur other um, services um, of a similar nature out there? Um, In other words, is Steam going to do it? <laughs> well, yeah, because... Well, maybe... Got... But... Well, maybe EA is trying something different, given that um, Steam's doing the whole <coughs> Steam Machines and Steam Link stuff now. Mm -hmm. uh, EA are trying to differentiate themselves a little bit, maybe ease up the competition between the two, because, be fair, if Origin has never done well when it's come up against... What the fuck? H hello? What was the tongue thing about? I, I was trying a bit of a... But it's something different, I don't know. You were trying to lick your microphone. <laughs> if I wanted to do that, Nick, I'd just go, ah. oh shit, I did. <laughs> you licked your microphone. Why did you lick your microphone? Because you basically dared me. You know what I'm like. <laughs> I double dare you. Um, yeah, I can't even remember kinda, what I was saying. Maybe they're coming at it from a different, uh, different perspective. The whole steam view. Um, which is, is a really good thing, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. The other main developer that could do a similar thing would be, uh, but the main publisher that could do a similar thing would obviously be Ubisoft, through the whole Uplay shit fest. The less we say about Uplay, the better. Hmm. Because... But they've got some good games. Yeah, but its service is worse than uh, Origins, and... It's... I don't really see the point in having it. You know what would I mean, be interesting? Origin and EU Play coming together to create one service. See, that would kind of be interesting, and it would, I suppose, make 
you know, it would have a point of having another service other than Steam. Mm. But then that that just seems like they're doing that just to try and dick on Steam, which is kind of stupid. They're doing this anyway. I mean, well, yeah, but why not do it together? Because <laughs> that's the only way they've got a chance. Deliberately to trying to go up into competition with Steam. Mm-hmm. And there's just no point because Steam is God. Let's put it this way. If I had the amount of time that I did in my um, murky and mysterious past, then I would... When you're at university. At other times. I've had other times. I've had other times where College, I've had time. High school. No, when I, in, in my old job when I only used to work four days a week. Um, I... Um, yeah, I, I would almost definitely uh, be purchasing this. I'm not sure whether I would though, because yeah, you've got a kind of a good lineup there. But of all the games there, the only ones that I haven't already got. Well, basically, you've got you've got a way up. What what are you doing? I'm doing things, Nick. This is what happens when you talk. I do. Ah, the camera <laughs> dropped. Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Are you dead? Um, yeah, when when you're talking, I, mean, I tend to do other things, like this. Um, this was such a bad idea. You're a bad idea. Shut up. So, um, my camera fell off its mount. Oh, okay, that's what happened. As in your your proper camera? No. Oh. Okay. So, that's why. That's why it's weird when you freaked out. I see. Because nobody would see what you saw. Fine. Uh, to me, it looked like Nick was being swallowed into the earth. <laughs> um, well, so... that that would actually seem like a pretty good proposition. You know, seeing as the whole thing about me, I used to do geology. You used to do geology now. What do you mean? I used. You're you no mean? longer a geologist in your head. Well, I've got the degree. Fine. No, what I mean is, I don't do it as like a job anymore. Yeah, you're not. You're not actively in the pursuit of geological knowledge. Apart from the fact that I do, I do planetary geology. Yeah. I write for a magazine sometimes. Yep, it's called the Hustler. You may have heard of it before. <laughs> that, that that sounds like some kind of porno mag. It is. Ah, uh, how do you know about this, sir? Everybody's heard of Hustler, haven't they? Heard of Playboy? Yeah, Hustler's kind of an equivalent. It's American, but... Well, there you go, then. How the hell would I know? I don't know. I've heard of it, so I assumed you had. No, it's an astronomy magazine. Hustler is not an astronomy magazine. No, you the one I write for sometimes. You want, God I don't care damn it. weird sci-fi fanfiction, weird sex shit you put on there. It is not... A planetary geology magazine. Free boobs. Awesome. Free boobs in space. That's not how the line goes. What, free boobs in space? Yeah. That's how the free boobs in space line goes. Do you know what film I'm talking about? Free boobs in space? I made that up. That has never been in a film. No, the uh, free boobs. Awesome. Have you ever seen Paul? Yes. There we go. It was a subpar film. I liked it. I liked. <laughs> okay, so we've drifted way off topic. I have. again. You have. I haven't. You. I don't even did. know how we got onto that. My camera fell off, and well, one of my cameras fell off, and then we started talking about shit. We're supposed to be talking about. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> you have to weigh up what games on Origin are available on Steam uh, compared to ones that you're not actually going to play, and then the ones that stop stroking your fucking beard. Fine. Compared to the ones that are left over. Uh, for instance, I <clears throat> I'm not too interested in the Battlefield games. Uh, I've got Dragon Age Origins on Steam. Don't want to. Uh, don't want Sim City. Although I have got it on Origin. Uh, Sim 3 on Steam. 
my point is the ones left over that I would play that I would want to play I could probably just go on and you know buy them and it'll be cheaper than having the ongoing subscription just for those particular titles yes uh, but you can look at it from the other point of view of okay I've got a week off I fancy playing through Dragon Age Inquisition. I can do so now for four pounds, as well as being able to try out those other couple of games that I wanted to try out. I guess, but on like a, you know, you know, because what they're counting on is people signing up and forgetting to unsubscribe. You know. Yeah, I can imagine that's on most of these things to make their money. That's the kind of thing that would happen. That, that's the kind of thing that does happen, like Netflix. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's an interesting service. I think it's got a lot of potential. It's priced very competitively at four pounds a month, especially That's seeing brilliant. as it's EA. Mm. Yeah, I did not expect it to be priced so competitively. Yeah. Um, it is a good idea, and I'm surprised it has come out of EA. Yeah, I put it's far easier for EA to do it because they're all EA games. Steam can't necessarily do the same no, thing unless they just do it with their own games. No, so. but my point is the fact that they are still overcharging on the vast majority of their games but this is competitively priced it's almost as though they're aware that their games are overpriced compared to other places and now they're putting this up to say look you've got this option now uh, and it's cheaper and then people are going oh yeah that looks brilliant and then they forget to unsubscribe <laughs> then they get all the money yeah, I, I, for once in my life, I'd say bravo EA, because I think that this could be a positive move, um, as long as they support it as much as anything we gotta go, We've got to see how, where it goes first. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Because it could, it could be all end up move. very poorly. Yeah, second anything that EA does, but it could yeah. be a positive move. Um, so, sod that off. I'm um, looking forward to Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Oh yeah, that should be good. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, mo most people hated Mirror's Edge, but I kind of liked it. It was a bit short and a bit meh. But then it, when the kind of mechanics were expanded on in Dying Light, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I'm excited to see what they intend to do with the Catalyst. You know, where they've gone, what they've learned. Mm -hmm. Be interesting. Yeah, but it's, again, it's EA, so meh. They can do good things. They have done good things. Um, so not Tiberium uh, Twilight. No. <laughs> so let's have a look at. Uh, oh, let's go into dead people. So David Barry, Barry, Barry. <laughs> he, David um, he David Bowie come out and said that he himself couldn't actually remember how it was pronounced like a while ago so I guess that's permission to say it however the hell you feel like maybe maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, so yeah he uh, he composed a game is how they're putting it um, called Omicron the Nomad Soul and it was free for a very short period of time on um, Square Enix's site <clears throat> And I've never played this. I don't know. Might be good. Might not be good. Um, oh, cool! It's made by the game uh, by Quantic Dream. Um, oh, the guys that go. did Indigo Prophecy. So it's probably David bad. Cage. Mm. So it could actually be decent. Yeah, it could actually be really interesting. I would really like to have a go at it, especially if it was still free. It says it was supposed to be free until January twenty second. Mm -hmm. But okay. um, some people are trying to uh, to pick it up and the website is saying that they have run out which is fucking bullshit because it's a digital game what yes yeah it's pretty insane we, uh, we don't know why it's not you know they have run out or anything we don't know how or why it's not being done anymore I'm trying to go see if I can. No, it's it's back up to nine ninety nine dollars. So I don't know. Maybe. It... Hang on. No, hang. On. There we go. 
give me two seconds. No, they're still uh, saying that there's... Uh, they've got the Omicron, the No Bad Soul, and then on the site it says $999. But then they've got a tribute thing for David Bowie, um, saying you can get it for free if you enter a coupon code. Yeah. So it might still be still available. I'll give that a try now. I have to sign up for the Square Enix online store. Though, which I don't really want to do. Tough poopy. Fuck it. I want Omicron. So I want to give it a go. I love David Bowie. And I didn't actually realise he um, did a game. I know we did a film. And it's fucking weird. In fact, there is another game that's more gamey. Where you play as somebody who like jumps through into your world and says, "Come with me. I, I'm not a video game character. I'm from another world." And yeah. but I then I realised that's this game. Oh, okay, is that the one? <laughs> yeah, and uh, you basically take control of this character's body, and it, it's like a third person kind of game. Yeah, yeah. As I understand, you kind of you can meet the guy's wife and all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it gets kind of weird at some points because you can actually get it on with his wife. Hmm. I'm yeah. still trying to get this game and <sighs> ah, there we go, there we go. It does on the British one. It does actually say. Because I was on the American one before, so I accidentally signed up for the American Square Enix store, which is fucking stupid. It does actually say zero pounds. Super. So, so we have some form of confirmation. It is currently still working, even though I have received still, reports that it isn't. Yeah, it's still. Well, I'll, t I'll soon tell you. The uh, just keep I, an eye on it if you like. I, I'm, Make sure I'm, you're not being scammed in some way. I, yeah. <laughs> Type in your magic word. My magic Hellfire. word. Hellfire. What? Magic word? Well, no, what did he say? Hellfire. Hellfire, ah. I've taken to doing that lately. I just start saying, I am the god of hellfire! Um, it's pronounced Hellfire. You're pronounced Dickhead. That was the least subtle thing I have ever heard. It wasn't meant to be subtle. I should hope not. Because was. it wasn't. Do I have a Square Enix login? I don't know. I should have, I would think, because I was... I played, I'm played. i playing Just Cause 3, and you got to sign in for that shit. Okay. Or you can just sign in with your Steam username. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just taking way longer than it really should. Yep, especially on on the video. So yeah. now let's uh, look no, at let's else. continue talking. Why aren't you why aren't you talking anymore? I'm just doing this as we're talking. <sighs> you crazy sob, son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, it's very sad that um, David Bowie has died, and. What's even sadder is the fact that, like, two days later, Alan Rickman also died. Yes. Which is all kinds of fucked up. Yep, they were both um, giants in their own uh, respective arenas. And it's a massive shame to see both of them gone. Um, yeah, oh, I'll be very sad. I think the world is, uh, is a, a poorer place. But on the upside, uh, David Bowie's albums are covering the charts at the moment in the UK. Is that an upside? I think so, because it shows how many people loved his work. Okay. I don't know. I don't feel any better for that. <laughs> well, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's still bad that he's dead, obviously. But... Um, it's good that to know that he was loved by so many people. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm severely bummed out. Um, well, yeah, we would by be, that, we? by Mr. Rickman, by Lemmy, just 
uh, I saw a fantastic um, image which had photos of all three of them sticking their middle finger up to the camera, and it just said <laughs> "fuck you, cancer." Yeah, uh, uh, that that really kind of summed up how I felt. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed. Um, we're going to have any more deaths before the week's end. Well, in the past year, uh, there have been unless it's great uh, time. Whoa, that's harsh, dude. I, I, it's not that I don't. It's not that I wish him dead. It's that if he died, I don't believe I would be any worse off. I mean, he would be. Or he wouldn't know anything about it. Again, How old is Brucey now? Um, four hundred and three. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, he's definitely. Definitely older than the average ancient tree. Jesus Christ. It's definitely older than the average landmass. <laughs> Are you saying Bruce Forsyth <laughs> is older than the continent of Eurasia? Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, Omicron, the Nomad Soul is still free. I've just done it. I didn't have to put in any payment details or anything, so go get Omicron if you haven't already. Yay! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I was trying to think where I heard the word Omicron from. It's Omicron Percy I-8, isn't it? I am Lair from Omicron Percy I-8! Yes. Yeah. That's exactly where I've heard it from. Also, you might have heard it from uh, Star Trek. Omicron Particles? What what makes you believe that I've heard that in Star Trek? That's right, you don't watch Star Trek because you're a Philistine. Yes, yes, that is exactly what we said earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, now, now let's talk about something fantastic. Not really, actually, I'm quite scared by it. Nintendo President Publishes Plans for 2016. Um, there That's was a... Translation in NeoGAF. So, uh, cheers, dudes. Cheers, dude. Um, so, yes, well, go I'm going to read out what, what we've got here as the translation. Is the translation Very actually going to be any good, though? It seems alright. I, I, I have no idea. I can't read the uh, the original text. So. No, what I mean is, uh, you can tell if the translation is no good because the English translation makes no sense. Oh, no, it seems pretty reasonable. Fair enough. Well, yeah. um, so he says that Nintendo wants to surprise fans with new ideas and not build on old ones. Nintendo will, in 2016, release details on the NX. So Ooh. that doesn't necessarily state specifically that they're going to release the NX, just details off. Which just details. You know, I'm behind <laughs> because I don't think they should release it yet. Um, he claims that the expansion into smartphones and theme parks but will also um, expand into movie movies and TV animes via character licensing. Well, I um, severely hope in that... Progress. It, I severely hope it's not going to be uh, the same as their attempts at TV before, you know, with the Super Mario Brothers show and the Super Mario movie and uh, the Zelda cartoon. And I, I'll give you the Zelda cartoon, but the other two were... They were pieces of art. <laughs> Seriously, um, the, uh, the, the Mario, Mario, Mario Brothers movie. film? The Mario Brothers movie was amazing. Because, the, hear me out, okay. The reason why it's amazing is because it went through about five or six rewrite, rewrites whilst it was being filmed. <laughs> they, they had this really dark So it was a it. train wreck before it even started? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. The, the people that ended up directing it had never played a Mario game. They had no idea of the source material, and they had no idea of the user base. So, <laughs> the, the, the actors on set stated that they were um, that they just gave up uh, learning their lines, because by the time they got there to film them, they would have changed. So there was just no point to it. So what you're saying is it's a marvel that the film got created in any way, shape, or form, regardless of whether it's good or bad. Exactly. It's, it's an absolute testament to the 90s. Um, that's not... A, a t- 
a time when anything was possible. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh no, no, not at all. So it's not a good film. It's just oh, no, the amazing. Film's awesome. I mean, the film is fantastic as well. If you've ever I mean, wanted to see Yoshi as some form of raptor, that's your film. I liked it when I was little, but now I kind of look at it and go, "What the fuck is that?" I've got to say, I haven't actually watched it in the last ten years. Well, there I'm you go. Sure then. I'll watch it with uh, with Isabel when she's old enough. Um. The other, the, the other one that you said though, the Super Mario Super Show, that wasn't terrible. That no, was like heard. a genuine program. Yeah, but yeah, people dressed up like Mario Brothers. Go, hey! Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey, it's me, Mario. I can't count how many times I've heard that reference, and it's starting to drive me up the wall now. There was even that reference in Just Cause Three. Wave your arms from side to side. Come on, buddy, let's go. It's the Mario. Shut up. Do the Mario. So, we've then got... Um, it's vital for Nintendo to experiment with new business models. He confirms the first smartphone app will be rolled out in March. Nintendo not already got smartphone apps. No, Seems kind of... No, it just seems a bit backwards if they haven't at this point. Okay. It would have seemed like no, it just would have seemed like something they would have jumped into straight away. Although, if they uh, decide to release Mario World on mobile, then I'll be all up for that shit. Mario World on mobile. Hmm. Mobile controls in a Mario game. It's just. It's a two D platformer. With mobile controls. Why not? Forward, back, jump. That That's... I'm not even going to entertain that as, as a possibility. That, that is well, terrible. I, well, I can't, well, I can't really have uh, a Mario game on Vita or anything, so... All I'm saying is a portable okay. Mario game would be nice. I mean... And don't you even start about the Wii U control right? pad. What? You have heard of the 3DS, right? Uh, I mean a real portable thing. <laughs> what does that mean? The 3DS is a great little console. Uh, it's a brick. I, I'm not sure what you're trying to suggest. I'm trying to suggest that it's not fantastic. It's all about the games, and it's got some great games on it. I, it's not I'll the stick, height of technology, but it's I'll good. Stick, I'll stick my, with my advance. Fine. Thanks. Fine. Um, the a game I played the other day, though, um, I downloaded from the Android App Store, which I would suggest everybody go out and download, Pocket Mortys. Um, what the fuck is that? It's essentially Pokemon with the characters from Rick and Morty. Um, you have a Rick, which uh, which is What's essentially kind Rick of Rick and Morty. Oh, it's an American animated show, um, kind of really off the wall humour. Um, it it it's meant to be really good. I haven't actually watched it, um, <laughs> but the game is superb. You're you you essentially you're a scientist called Rick. Um, he's kind of the person that you control, and you wander around as him. And you collect Mortys, which are this... Um, Maltesers? Uh, no, it's it's, it's a, a, a kid, a, a boy. It's called Morty. Um, but all the multiverses have collided, um, so you can travel between them. And in each one, you have your... Each one has its own Morty. Um, so you basically collect these Mortys as though they were Pokemon. You just have, like, random versions of Morty following you around. Um, and you battle them as though as though they're oh. Pokemon when really they're actually humans, okay. and you make them fight. <laughs> um, that sounds like the weirdest thing I've heard like this week. It's absolutely insane, but it's a perfect mash. Uh, well, it's a perfect version of Pokemon, really, um, and it's free, um, and it's great. Well, what, how, how can I really argue if it's free? Exactly. I've just noticed you can't see my camera anymore. 
I can't know it. It has vanished. I am just staring at a still image of you smiling at me. I'm staring at a still image of you doing this. I can't see what you're doing. So that means <laughs> absolutely nothing to me. Um, this so is the first time we've... Issues and we apologise for those. Yeah, it's the first time we've tried it like this. And we, we've we basically been streaming from our phones to each other. Mm. And both phones run out of battery. Yep, yeah, we have not Brilliant. well. Um, so we've then also got... Um, the new president promises that smartphone apps with Nintendo. Nintendo's famous characters in, will be seen in 2016, and he wants to bring the company's financials to a new level. The plan is to bring profits to 100 billion yen. That um, sounds like a lot, years. and it is actually quite a lot, because that equates to $855 million. Yes, and that would be four, four times, times that last of last year's profit. profit. In quid, that would be about 600 million quid. Mm -hmm. Still quite a lot. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I, 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 I wouldn't shake a stick at 600 million quid. It's pretty insane, though, when you consider mm. that this is a company that just a few years ago had the Wii and the DS, um, which were selling both selling fantastically, and they didn't reach that kind of level of profit. Yeah, so basically, uh, ambitions are big. Yes, when you're talking about having the two largest um, the, the two of the best selling consoles ever at the same time. As you, as people say they were printing money. And they still <laughs> Print money, bitch! Level. Yeah, they still couldn't get to that level. Um, I'd say that they're probably punching a little bit above their weight there. I would, I would go with that. But, you know, they're trying. <laughs> they're, they're going for things. Oh, though this does um, include obviously Pokemon Go. Pokemon oh. Go looks awesome. Yeah, when did that come out? Uh, there's no exact date on it, but it's probably going to be this year, I thought. Well, shit, because I really want to play that. Yeah, definitely. I want to get out there and catch me some Pokemon. I would be very happy to uh, to capture Pokemon, though I am at the moment very happy to capture Mortys. <laughs> um, I am very happy to capture Maltesers. Okay. Um, at the moment, I've got a scruffy Morty. I've got um, a normal Morty. I have also got a. There is a self-defense Morty. Um, an experimental that... X1 Morty. That reminds me of something having the multiple versions of different. Uh, no, comic books like the um, the Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Verse. All the different Spider-Men coming together. The same with the Superman. Yep. It's basically that. Oh, you heard about what's happening at the moment. The Secret Wars. Yeah, I've got Secret Wars issue zero on my desk here. Fair enough. Um, it was given to me free at the um, at the premiere of uh, Age of Ultron. Not premiere. Uh, when it was released at the cinema. Yes, the opening night of. Yeah, whatever. Uh, have you heard about um, what what they're doing in it? Battle World. Yeah. Um, some weird shit. Yeah, pretty much. They've got everything. They version destroyed of the multiverse. Uh, Doctor Doom is God. Mm -hmm. And they've got all different versions of different people in their own worlds or something. Yeah, there's, there's only one universe now. Only yeah. one world, in fact. Um, well, yeah, but they're so broke by like and big walls. They, they've and stuff. kind of got just different versions of people from different worlds, all in one. But mm. they've only, in most cases, got one version of them, other than Thor, and they've got hundreds of versions of Thor in what they call the Thor Core. <laughs> the Thor Core. Mm. And they essentially police the world. Well, battle world. <laughs> See, so, yeah, that's that's really strange, and I imagine that's how they're gonna get the original. F for Mac, because uh, they made for a woman, didn't what's they? Yeah, what's wrong with Thor as a woman? No, 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 nothing. I just know. Uh, sexist, bitch. I'm not sexist. No, I'm just saying that comics do not like shaking up the status quo for too long. Uh, eventually, they want to go back to um, having the original four and relegate this new female four to another parallel universe. They're, 
They always do it. They always have some big story arc that ends up sh putting everything back to how it originally was uh, to start for the next big shake-up in the uh, canon. Yeah, probably. I mean, they, they, they almost certainly cannot carry on with this world as it is. Um, well, no, I don't mean that. Half I mean, of the heroes and well, most of the heroes and villains are now dead. Yeah, but there are two Spider-Man men. Last thing I heard about Spider-Man, he was uh, is he, he had uh, Doctor Octavius's consciousness in his head or something. That is not the case here. No, I, I'm aware, but that's the last thing. Anyway, we should stop talking about comic books again. And it looks like Pokemon Go will be released the first half of this year, according to rumours. Oh, and nice. it is currently in beta phase. Nice. Yep. Nice. Um, though I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be nothing like what people are uh, hoping for. Well, that's what hopes are for. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Hitman! Hitman! Hitman Chan! Hitman. I just hit man my microphone boom thing my never mind. <laughs> so Hitman is all the well, a load of pre-orders for Hitman are being cancelled. Um, now this sounds like a bad thing. It could be, yeah. but um, the reason for it is because Hitman is um, changing its format. Um, they're calling it a fully episodic AAA game. Um, in reality, I think the best way of explaining what it's going to be is a platform um, for Hitman, in which Hitman will be um, uh, kind of new levels for Hitman, new uh, new challenges, if you like, will be released regularly. It'll be interesting to see where they go with it, because they've been really ambitious with this new Hitman, and obviously uh, they've decided to go this way with it because it's got too big for its British, basically. Uh, so they're like, okay, let's do something about this and turn it into something really big and special and different. They're doing something different with it, which I kind of, I, I, I get, I can admire, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the sort of game that I can see would perhaps work in this format. Um, the idea of, you know, content being released for it on a, on a semi-regular basis. I mean, if they're releasing levels as big as they're suggesting they're going to, then... There's no reason why you can't suddenly, you know, put in a new um, objective um, and, and different things happening in that same level. Um, yeah, to I keep mean, that feeling fresh. Well, I've, I've said this before. Maybe uh, games have got to a point where you shouldn't be releasing a new one every year or every few years or something. You should be just adding on the next part of the story or whatever to the game platform that you set up. And maybe this is Hitman. That maybe they're doing this. Maybe they're starting this. Maybe they're going to be an example for the rest of the industry. Because we've got to a point now where graphics aren't getting hugely better as we go along. Therefore, you can have a single platform, a single game on an engine and just add new assets to it, new storylines. And especially with uh, uh, on-the-fly updates and just general uh, patches and everything you know you don't need you, having a subscription to a game that gives you the new I mean that's what the season pass and DLC stuff all about isn't it mm -hmm. am I making any sense kind of Sam. Yeah. <laughs> um, the interesting thing that I find with this is, is, is the pricing structure so they're releasing the um, intro pack which contains the Prologue and Paris levels, so two levels. Prologue doesn't exactly sound like a fully fledged level, but I don't know, might be. Um, for a price of fifteen dollars, each subse subsequent location will be priced at ten dollars as an add-on item. Um, so basically, uh, the first level, the Paris level, you said, is ten in itself, and then the prologue is another five. So at least it's consistent. Mm. Um, and then the players could alternatively buy the full experience for a full price game of £60. They say the full experience, that actually just includes all of this year's content as it's released and guarantees them not to miss any live or bonus content. 
I think that's worded a little oddly, and mm. suggests that they're going to be supporting it beyond this year, which is great, um, considering the launch is March. Uh, so you've got you're going to have a decent year's worth of content. So as long as they release regularly, you can see that you might get a good bit. And next year, who knows how much they'll release? Basically, they've really shook up this uh, instance of Hitman, and it could be going in an exciting direction. I mean, it's like it's taking a season pass to the next level. Mm. And like you say, having the game, the base game, as a platform to build on as opposed to uh, a game with a few bits taken out to sell on later. Mm -hmm. They're actually going to be actively adding to it. Not just putting back in what was supposed to be there in the first place. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the few games where I believe it could be, uh, it could really work and really make sense. Mm. Um, as long as they don't get greedy, which this is Square Enix, they, they are known for that. Not as much as other companies. Well, no, no they, they, <laughs> they know Ubisoft, but um, yeah, they, they certainly could. Um, so, it's interesting. Maybe. It's a really well, good yeah. idea. I am behind it. I will probably end up getting the game. Um, as to whether that's on launch, I don't know. Might wait to see um, how these locations, um, you know, end up. But, I would uh, say this is a better alternative to your yearly brand new game. Yes. I mean, it's but cheaper Hitman for them known to make for yearly it's... brand new games. To be fair, say again. Hitman isn't isn't a game which has had yearly updates. To be fair. No, no, that's my point. Is um, other games by these big publishers have uh, had like yearly iterations like you've got Assassin's Creed and you've got uh, Call of Duty games and maybe uh, Square Enix have seen that but decided to go in a different direction where they can still have constant updates for the game and uh, keep making that constant flow of money but still give some of it back to the gamers as well and not screw them over with basically the same game over and over again. They're basically saying, yes, it is the same game, but it's got this new content and you can have it for cheaper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like a great idea. Might work. Um, interesting the um, kind of layout that they're giving for the, uh, for the updates. Um, the first, as I say, two missions locations um, coming out in March the 11th the next location Italy releasing it in April the next location Morocco releasing it in May <clears throat> and then they're just saying that they release uh, deliver regular monthly content updates so by I don't know the end of 2018 you might have the entirety of Europe <laughs> yeah you might have be... a full Hitman game that would be fucking sweet though wouldn't it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Slowly build out the world and, you know, create this. They have this. also released a, a kind of three additional locations. Thailand, US and Japan. Mm. Uh, Japan supposedly being the conclusion for the game in 2016. Oh, okay. Hmm, this is going to be interesting to see where this goes though, definitely. Mm. This, is, this is a kind of new take on it and they are obviously like surprised that what they're doing because you know they're, they're cancelling pre-orders and like yeah this is different now we weren't anticipating this hmm. yeah absolutely it's um exciting very um, exciting yeah yeah i wouldn't be at all surprised if they uh offer some kind of subscription thing in the end like you can buy the individual packages uh when your initial payment runs out and stuff, or you can just subscribe and get them all for slightly cheaper or something, like as they slowly come out. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what they're doing with this upfront sixty pound purchase. Sixty. Dollars. Yeah, but it only it only guarantees until well, you the say the end year. of the year. Yeah. yeah. What I mean is like an ongoing rolling thing. Mm. I suppose it depends how uh, how it goes on. I imagine they're just waiting to see how this first year pans out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they can make money out of it, then they'll do whatever they can. <laughs> well, who wouldn't? Hmm. Now I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy VII. 
We'll just make the same game over and over again, but with better graphics, because people apparently love that shit. And completely different gameplay. Really? You know that game that people really enjoyed? Yes, well, we're making a completely different version of it. <laughs> just give them but we're still days. just going to call it the same thing and pander to you as much as possible. Yeah, they're making it live action. They're getting rid of the turn-based gameplay of the RPG Final Fantasy VII yeah. and replacing it with a live action game. That's okay. That's not something I could have said I expected from Final Fantasy. No, no, it's ridiculous. But Final Fantasy XV is coming out, which is live action, which is fair enough. That's a different game. Okay, leave no, the old yeah. ones alone. Don't piss around with that. If you're going to re-release it and remaster it, then please do that. Don't re-design it. I don't know. I've never been big for the uh, Final Fantasy, so I can't really weigh on it on that too much. No, I, I've never liked Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, other than Crystal Chronicles, that was awesome. Yeah, I, I don't like any of them. So. You love Crystal Chronicles. Mm. You would love Crystal Fun. Mm. It's a little bit like Magicka. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like Magicka, but it was played with like 500, well no, far more than 500 pounds. I think 700 pounds worth of tech at the time. Fuck because you me. had to play it. If you wanted to play multiplayer, you had to, every person sitting around had to have their own Game Boy Advance with link cables plugged into a GameCube just in order to play the game. I couldn't even get enough money for a Game Boy when I was young, let alone a link cable, and I don't know. Yeah, it was an expensive to do. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. I had Game Boy, so we played it. I actually played it with my friend Rob quite a lot. It was a really big game. You're rambling now. You're rambling, you're a face, you shut up. I have no face. You cannot see my face any longer. No, it's true. You are faceless. I'm looking at you standing in front of our own flat on a snowy day. Old, old flat. Not our own <laughs> flat. Old flat on a snowy day. That's because I turned off my video and looked like you. It's like a second year flat. It's because it was second year of university. Yeah. Fantastic. There you are. I swear it could be your first year. I don't know. It's not my first year. That is second year. It's outside our block. Fair enough. Oh yes, of course, because it was to one side, wasn't it? Yeah. This means nothing to you people. We're sorry about this. But I feel that's all we've got time for this week. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, probably. So, yeah, that's the end of the Rational <laughs> Gamers <laughs> webcast this week. I hope you've had a good time. Um, uh, we've tried something new with the webcams. It didn't quite go to plan. Uh, yeah, it went quite so well. Ways. It went okay. I uh, did it. We'll see. Um, I guess you guys will be the best judges. Um, <gasps> let us know if you can. Be Give us a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, do stuff. Like We like it when people do stuff. We do stuff sometimes. Come do stuff with us in a non-weird way. No, everything you're saying is now weird. Shut up in your face and go put your penis in a toaster. <laughs> so... <laughs> You, uh, sir, are you a dickhole. We, we will talk to you again soon. Please join us throughout the week where we'll be releasing Let's Plays every day, sometimes twice a day. That's, that's we, serious commitment, you know. If, 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 if we can be asked. I'm more committed to this than my wife because she is in no way committed to this. <laughs> um, and we will talk to you again soon. She wouldn't be. She's, she's not. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.